Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and as you can see behind me, we are finally reviewing the Mercedes brand. So right here we have a 2019 Mercedes AMG GLE 43. And so as always, we're gonna do a quick walk around on the car, then we're gonna take it out to see how it drives. A big shout out and thank you to Larry H. Miller, Mercedes-Benz of Draper for providing us with the vehicle. Check out their inventory in the link below. So under the hood here, we have a twin turbocharged three liter V6 that goes through a nine speed automatic transmission. In terms of fuel economy, it's 17 around town and then 22 on the highway. Power outputs are 385 horsepower and 384 pound feet of torque. So let's start up front. Let's go to the hood first and foremost. So you can see these muscular lines on the hood. I love the look of it. It makes this car just look so much better. And then you see the venting at the top kind of make it look a little bit sportier. And then just down below, we can see that we've got the LED accent lights with the projector LEDs as well. We've got the Mercedes logo that doubles for the adaptive cruise control. And then there's a camera just below it. And you can see just how big the whole front grille is. You get a little bit of uh, fake fending there, but that's okay. It still looks cool. Parking sensors on the front, and then they do black trim at the bottom. Kind of looks like a front splitter, which is definitely a neat touch to have on an SUV. Around the side here, it is kind of crazy. So we've got 285 millimeter, 325 millimeter, and remember, this is an SUV, guys. And then we've got 22 inch rims, and you can see just how massive the brake calipers are on these rims. It is absolutely crazy. And then you've got this little side step that runs along the side of the Mercedes, and then you get the badging right here by Turbo, four Matic since this is all wheel drive. But let's head to the back now. Here's our key fob. You got a couple simple functions here. You got your lock and unlock, and then you've got the tailgate release. So if we hold that down, that'll open up the rear hatch for the GLE 43 AMG. And we can pop into the rear here so you can see there's this nice little cargo cover and then you can see everything's kind of like covered up. So not gonna mess anything up for the first owner but you can see there's a little spare tire underneath there. You do get a 12 volt first aid kit that comes with the Mercedes as well. And then to lock the car, you can actually lock it from the exterior. So press that button, then it'll lock it. And then you can do this to lower it down. And if you press it again, then it'll stop at the point where you lowered it down to. And then we can go over the design in the rear. So let's go with badging first and foremost. So we've got AMG GLE 43, and you've got the full wrap around LED tail lights. I think it's a really cool design. And this is a coupe, so you can kind of see it's got that slanted roof line. You've got the Mercedes logo. You've got the quad outlet exhaust. So really cool design there. And then you've got parking sensors on the rear with the little receiver hitch tow package. Now coming to the rear here, we can see that there's a ton of leather padding here on the side with contrasted stitching. More here on the side of the door panel. You've got your little window switch here. You've got one of the speakers for the sound system, another one just down below, and they've got this beautiful black trim at the top. And now looking at the seat here, you can see that the seat full leather on the seats looks really, really nice in general. And the legroom back here is actually pretty decent. You can see you've got some controls. You've got your heated seat controls here, and then you've got your little climate controls as well. So it's really nice. You can kind of customize that a little bit. And if we press this little thing, you can see it pops out for, looks like an ashtray, which is kind of funny to see that, but it is a European car. And then you can pull these out. You've got a couple cup holders in here as well. But overall, the space in here is actually pretty decent. And then in terms of the headroom, I know you guys are thinking that the coupe's gonna get in the way with it. It's actually not bad at all. Now coming around to the front right here, we can see the door panel here on the front looks identical to the one in the rear. Beautiful black trim up here again. All of your seat controls are actually gonna be on the door. And then you can see you've got your memory seat controls right there, door lock and unlock. All of your window controls as well. Your mirror controls are right here and the mirrors are power folding. And then you can see the only thing that's on the seat is going to be the lumbar controls right here. And look at the seats here in the front. Really nice bolsters. We've got beautiful contrasted stitching, full leather with all the perforations on it. And then you can see the pedal layout just down below. Absolutely beautiful. I love the design on it. You can see that you've got your parking brake right here. Light controls are over here. Those are for your fog lights. And the steering wheel is power adjustable. And then it's got a little twist thing to uh, turn on the heated steering wheel function as well. But let's hop inside. So to start up the GLE AMG 43, just press that. I don't even know if I said those in the right order. Anyways, you can see that it starts right up and the uh, gauges will do a little bit of a sweep. So starting on this side of the steering wheel, I've got all of our voice commands and phone commands on this side. On this side is for the center screen. You got some paddle shifters if you wanna shift the gears yourself. Mercedes logo on the center. And you've got the beautiful leather that wraps all the way around. It's kind of grippier on that side. 
That side is your turn signal stock over there, and then that's actually your gear selector, so it's a little column shifter, but it's actually really easy to use and pretty intuitive in general. And then we've got your little cruise control thing there through the steering wheel, but let's get to the center stack. We've got your gauge cluster, and I actually like to design on them a lot. You can kind of see it in the camera with kind of how they do like the little squares and everything, but you've got your speed on the left side, on the right side you've got your RPMs, and then you've got that little center menu that you can kind of scroll through couple different bits of information on the car so it's pretty configurable in general and it's pretty easy and simple to use. We've got our little center screen right here and you actually control it via this little keypad thing. So you can see that there's a couple different menus that you can kind of go through. Um, it takes a second to get used to this little infotainment system but once you get used to it it's pretty easy and intuitive to use and if we actually pop this into reverse which you actually have to pull up on the column shifter you can see that you've got a bird's eye view and then you've got your backup camera and you can turn the little trajectory lines and so parking this will be no problem. Just down below we've got all of our analog kind of media controls right here and then over here you've got your controls for the heated seat, parking sensors, auto stop start, your hazard lights right here, stability control and then another control for the heated seats. You've got your climate controls down here which I like how they do the little numbers on it. It definitely is Mercedes. That's just what they've always done. And then you can see down here you've got a little cigarette lighter thing, which, and another ashtray, which again, interesting to have in a vehicle because I'm pretty sure whoever buys this is not gonna use that at all. Cup holders right here. And then you've got a couple different functions right in this area. So this is kind of like your hill descent control. It does have the suspensions. You can raise it up. This just kind of shows you your little vehicle right there and what drive mode you're in. That's your manual shift mode. And these are the different drive modes. You can see you've got your individual, which you can customize, your comfort, your sport, sport plus, and then you've got like a snowy mode. The sport plus is the mode that you definitely want to drive in. You'll get all those pops and crackles from the exhaust and it'll sound really cool. Here's that keypad again and the kind of back thing for the uh, whole infotainment system. And then we've got this whole armrest situation, which you just press that, it kind of opens up like this. You can see there's a little, little bit of storage in here. We've got this little tray all lined with felt. So it looks really nice on the interior right there. And then we can see the glove box right here again, lined with felt, beautiful black trim above. And then you got some more leather with the stitching. So all looks really nice in this whole area. And the glove box even is soft touch, which a lot of manufacturers will cheap out on that, but Mercedes did not. We've got the little shade for the sunroof and you can see that it's kind of like a mix between a regular sunroof and a panoramic because it, since the coupe design, it can't go all the way to the back, but it goes pretty far to the back in general. All of your light controls up here, but other than that, they keep things pretty simple up top. Now that we've gone over the interior on the GLE 43 AMG coupe, let's talk about pricing. So this sticker's for just under $80,000 before any type of market adjustment. With that all being said, let's take this out on a little bit of a drive to uh, see how it sounds and drives. Before we set off, let's talk about visibility first and foremost. You can see visibility of the hood. It's actually pretty easy to see. It slopes down abruptly. You can see visibility throughout both of the mirrors on the car. Window stickers get in the way, but forget that. And then you can see visibility throughout the rear. So it is limited a little bit, but it does have the blind spot monitoring. So that'll help out with that in general, but it's not as difficult to see out of this as I thought it would be with how sloped the roof line is. And then of course the first order of business is uh, Sport Plus. Yes, so we can get popples and crackles. So a little bit limited on the test drive. Obviously, if I was spending the kind of money that you have to spend on a Mercedes, I wouldn't want any miles on it. So I can't really do a full on road test, but I can kind of tell you guys um, what I am seeing initially. So in terms of road noise, I'm noticing that this is actually a very, very quiet SUV in general. I don't hear a whole lot of road noise. And then ride quality actually feels really smooth. Um, the thing I noticed about that Sport Plus, I took it out of it and put it into comfort, is it was holding the gears really high RPMs, which makes sense since, since it is in the uh, Sport mode. Um, but yeah, I mean, that being said, this vehicle, it feels pretty sporty. So like the steering feel on it, you can see that it's relatively light. Um, and you can see that there's a little bit of play in it, but there's not a whole lot in general. So there's kind of that on that whole aspect of things. Um, 
But in general, this SUV drives a lot better than I thought it would. I thought that with those huge rims and everything, it'd be super rough and bumpy. And it's not. It's really smooth in general. And I think the suspension's going to be a big component of that. And then in terms of like the sportiness, it feels pretty cool. And we'll put it in the Sport Plus. There is kind of like a little area where I can get an acceleration. I'm already noticing though, when I put it in the Sport Plus, it opens up the uh, valves and I can hear a lot more. Like you guys can hear that. Yeah, you can hear those little popples. I mean, that sounds really, really good. So Sport Plus mode is definitely the mode to uh, drive it in. And then I'll get a little acceleration for you guys. But apologies on the short test drive. But like I said, I mean, if I was spending $80,000 on a car, I wouldn't want someone to go and drive the smack out of it before I buy it. Just saying. So here is your very minor acceleration. And I've actually driven one of these. I feel like I, did, I feel like I already did a review on this vehicle. I remember this is actually really quick. I mean, it's very, very torquey. Twin turbocharged engines generally are, and it, there's a lot of torque at the very, very low end. Um, but yeah, I mean, power on this is absolutely no problem. Some things up. I feel like this is a really solid offering. It definitely sounds really nice for a V6, especially a twin turbo V6. I didn't expect it to sound this nice. Um, that being said though, there is the big brother, the GLE 63S, and we're going to be going over that momentarily. Um, but I mean, in terms of sound and acceleration, all this, I feel like this is more than adequate. It is a very, very fun car. And there we have it, everyone. The 2019 Mercedes AMG GLE 43 Coupe. Lots of names and letters, and hopefully I got them in the right order. But anyways, thank you everyone so much for watching. And again, a big shout out and thank you to Larry H. Miller, Mercedes-Benz of Draper, Utah, for providing us with the vehicle. Check out their inventory in the link below. I'll see all of you in that next video.